Hi, welcome back to Enshrouded. This is Lee from Brothers Grimm. This is episode two. Um, and we're here with Braille on outside our makeshift base. It's night time. Uh, beautiful colours and ambience. Music's amazing. It's just so good. Anyway, let's just pick that firefly up. I think it is. All these shiny bits on the floor are fireflies. You can make... Um, Lanterns with them and what have you. So a bit of gathering and I think I'm going to go and sleep so it's daytime and then we're going to set off looking for our first survivor. some rocks uh, let's get to Let's get back up here. Um, I think it might, I don't know if it might be coming light. Okay then, right, done some string there, look. So what we need to be doing is heading up here. So set us waypoint, and that'll show us on our top bar the direction we need to be. It will be taking us that way anyway. Um, Down here. Don't know where he came from. Let's um, I'll tell you what we need. Oops, not that one. We need um, a bit of healing. That was because I got me hot with the hot bar on. the books Oops. Ah, chest there look needed a check need a lock pick and I haven't got one right hang on so what do I need to make a lock pick crafting lock pick I need metal scraps right any metal in here uh, 
No metal up to now. Yeah. Right, so we need to go and find some metal because I want that to. I need to make a lot big. So we're back out. Ah, too well, let's get the old axe on. Proper looting with this on. Okay, so let's keep gathering. We're looking for metal. Might have some metal here somewhere. Backwards then, class. Ah, okay, so we're that's wood. Right, let's look for some stuff that looks like it might have got metal on it. Gather these trees. Or plant fibre I should say. It's bushes. Um It's all wood in it. Oh, metal scraps. And <laughs> chest the other side of that. Take that, thank you. Oh. And seven. No, it's not what I want, it's five. Okay. Right, can I make let's have a look how lock pick. Right, so oh no, I need one more metal scrap. Annoying me act sometimes this. Come on, there's some metal scraps here. Yes. Right, let's see now if we can make it. Crafting. Yeah. So we've made a lockpick. So let's go back. Let's go, just go back down. Uh, can't remember exactly where we were. Right over here. Uh, 
Real, won't it? Oh, no, it won't. Yeah, it will. Okay, so we've got some more potions. I'll do us. Take anything at this uh, at this point. Right. Okay. So back on track. Right. So what we can do here is. Uh, if you hold, just hold down, it'll auto target until it gets out of range, and then you're struggling a bit. But you have to get a bit nearer. Hmm. I don't think we can get across there yet with that as. Um, obviously we can there's a grappling hook thing there ah, let's just try again I'm wondering if I can go across there oh no you just drop through right okay so we're gonna have to go across there aren't we this is the enshrouded, not going down there. That, uh, let's have a quick gathering on here. Just gather as we're going along. Right, so we've got the bridge here. There's some arrows actually stuck in this uh, wagon. But we can't get across because we haven't got a grappling hook yet. So, we've got to go through the shroud. Now, before we do that, there's a couple of camps here. Look. Let's have a look. So, we've got another read Captain Journal Day 6. And another chest, which is more bandage. Let's, before we go any further, let's just have a look at what we've got on here now. So, I don't really want that on there. We've got. Elixir, which is to do well, that's to do with damage output. Uh, that's probably not too bad actually. Plenty of wood there we could break down if we needed to, but oh, that's because I was too near the bed. I'll loot that. Right, okay. So let's um. Right, okay. So we've got one more here, look. Another chest as well. More arrows and a healing potion. Day 20. Just loot. One. Let's get rid of one because it's uh, we can't do anything with it. So let, oh, it can salvage. So we'll salvage and you get these type of runes from it. And two, three. Let's keep it like that. All right. So we're going in here. Right. So these here are shroud liquid, which obviously is also a crafting map. <laughs> So if we look at that ring, let's have a look. 
10 stamina plus 10 health so right click equip it there's two ways of doing it we can either do that or we can click n and you can drag it onto this but you can see it's equipped you can wear two rings i've got one off we've also got skill points to spend which we're not going to do it here now while we're in the middle of the uh, shroud but we'll do it when we get out um, I think let me just have a look at this I know we don't get shroud wood for this I just don't know if we get shroud liquid or something else oh nothing oh yeah shroud liquid look Look how beautiful that looks. Uh, that's one of those files that re restores time. If you click it, if you look now, it gives you more time. So these trees here, you get shrouded from, which I'm going to gather while I'm here. And some more here, look. Oops, hang on. Get these as well on here. Whoa. Fairly simple to kill, to be honest with you. Uh, so where's my shroud would gone? There's some there, look. I thought there'd be more than that. Oh yeah, there's some up here, look. I think, is that shroud wood? Yeah, it looks like it. Right, okay, so let's get back up here then. We've got we've got some there now. I'm gonna get out of the oh hang on. So we're going through this tunnel, it's a shrouded area, but if you see that, we can climb up that, and we're not in it anymore now. So I reckon we're going to that there, or something up there. Uh, what we got here, there's a little camp here. Okay, that's uh, about the bridge being built. You can, smash, you can smash all that area up if you want and take the wood and what have you. Let's uh, so a little look. Uh, again, let's collect all these twigs. So nice. Obviously, I've got really basic equipment at the moment. It's a wolf. Oh, 
Oh, no food off that one then. Feel like I've been cheated. Uh, okay, so let's go down here. I think this is where it's wanting to take me. Now, I can see an enemy there. Auto lock on him. There's two of them. Ah, it's killed me. Okay, well, I'm quite pleased in a way that you've seen this early on. So, that was just me being a bit over zealous there. Right, so basically, I'll go back to my flame. Okay, so I've got to run back to my body. So I'll do that, and then I'll get back to you. And just incidentally, before I do it, you don't lose all your items. You might lose a few things that's in your inventory. But if you go back to your body, which is on the top bar, or on the map, uh, that's where I died, then you can pick, you can basically get the items off your body. Alright, so I'll do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm coming back up on this now. Just a little bit of loot in this, that and the other. Um, oh, there's a guy there as well. I've seen him before. Stick him on. Oh! Ah, okay, so I'm back in the area now. See where my body is, where I died. Right, where's that enemy gone? Just click F, pick everything up. That. Alright, okay, so I ain't got enough space in my backpack for that. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, what's that? It's a shield. Okay. Let's get rid of them. Don't need them. Everything else is fairly valuable ish. Right, so that disappears now. So I do want to go in there, but uh, what I'm going to do first is just carry on looting a little bit. Ah, uh, hang on. Right, I haven't got enough space. So let's just have a little look round. I'm still thinking there might be an enemy somewhere knocking around here. So I'm going to be a bit cautious. Here he is. Right, 
I managed to block and parry him a little bit there. And he didn't like it. Explosives. Ah, hang on, let's go in here for a minute. Another thing, the cinder vessel broke down due to testing the values inside the child. Yeah, okay, so that's all about the experiment side of it. Uh, I'm just wondering, before we go into the actual building, I'm just wondering if there's anything lying about. Look, we've got another bit of information here. Uh, Eureka, I've done it. Equilibrium, subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. Okay. Let's have a look what's in here. More explosive uh, ball things. Okay. Okay, so we've got some metal scraps and a few other bits. See, now I've got my shield equipped as well as my one handed. Right, let's um, get in here. I'm not sure if there's any enemies in here, I can't remember. There is. Bandage on. No, oh, hang on, let's loot him. That's okay. Ancient Vault, Vault of the Blacksmith. Right, okay, so if we look over here now. Awaken him. So Oswald the Blacksmith. Oswald Anderson the Blacksmith. So, I need to go back, summoning staff. And then I can act, I can literally have him at my base. And then I'll have unlocked more stuff. Another one. Right, so now what we can do now is um, I don't think there's any secrets in here. Let me just have a look round before we do any further. Ah, I wonder if that is. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. Oh, can we make a lockpick? Craft it. Yes, we can. No. So we've got a new weapon there. So let's have a look until let's get out back out of here. So we've got this. Which is, let's have a look. Masterful Mace, level 1. So this is a green one, so this is uncommon. Whereas these are just like common. This is a little bit rarer. It's the first sort of like rare, if you like, where you've got... Um, you can level these items up. Um, it's a one-handed mace. It's probably better than... Because it's 16 damage. The sword's only 11. All the weapons we've got are 11, apart from the bow, which is not, you know, not much cop, to be fair. So we've got this, it's a two-handed axe hammer though. It's quite slow, but 
fairly powerful. Okay. So what we can do now is if we go to his map. Um, I don't think. I don't think there is a fast travel marker here, like a um, a vault or anything. A, flame type thing save point so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fast travel straight back fast travel and that'll be to our flame at our base here we are so what we need to do then is make a summoning staff So what do we need? We don't need we've got no slots in his backpack. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get there in a minute. So twigs to make the summoning staff. I've made that. So that's on six now. So I click six and then click on tab. I can put where I want him, because obviously I've selected him. Click. That's it. And now he's here. So now, click tab. Hang on. No. I'm going to click off it. I can now speak to him. Tell me what you need. And he will give you, throughout, as the, you know, as, as the game progresses, he'll call you, like, by, with that speech bubble above his head. You can click on him and he'll, it'll be like this. He'll have either things to tell you can craft for you. Uh, it'll give you more help and information. So this one is basically saying um, you can make you a scrappy sword or a spike club uh, and some armor, which will save you as well. So that's what we want. Cleansing ah. fire. Uh, where there's ash, there's ambers. The shroud suffocates the valley. So seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of the misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on your flame bullet. So when we're equipped up, we've got to go and find the elixir well. Right, so crafting. This is what you can craft for us. Hang on a minute. As a blacksmith, you can make uh, a forge. Uh, charcoal, uh, charcoal kill. You can make nails, you can make felling axes, which are better for knocking trees down, pickaxes, lockpicks, uh, enhanced weapons, so that's a scrappy sword, which is 16 damage, which is obviously better than what we've been using. But it is only a normal weapon, so for that we need wood logs, metal scraps and nails. You can make nails, so I'm pretty sure we should be alright. Uh, armor set, you can make an armor set, which is quite handy. String, tone, we've got loads of tone cloth. We have got some animal furs and we've got string. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Dishes and what have you. So let's just have a look at this then. Let's try and get some armor. Tone cloth, animal fur, and string. You still here? Animal furs, tone cloth, string. Watch out! Sparks flying! <laughs> right, armor set. So, we can make the helmet. The fur hood. Uh, metal scraps. Metal scraps. Metal scraps. And. Can I make that? Yeah, so I need metal scraps to make the other. Now get out! Um, hmm. Where are metal scraps? Are they on that one? Hang on, I'm looking at wrong one. There we go. What is it this time? Craft. Um, pull armor set. So, let's make that. Let's make them. And. Let's make that so we've got the full set there. Hang on. Well, before we do any further, mm. glider. Craft a glider at the workbench to make getting around a little easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Don't forget that using a glider drains stamina. But from what I've seen, you've got it in you. Okay. Well rested. Okay. Right. 
So if I click on that, no. Better than nothing. Oops. Um, okay, so we have got some some armor on now. Long range attack power. So that's assign that to our quick bar. We haven't got any gliders. We haven't got anything else. Right. Okay. So what I can do now, hang on, is drop that summoning stuff back on there. It's it's only showing him because I haven't took him off the summoning stuff, if you like. But that's fine. Um. Get rid of them. We don't need we don't need them on. Ah, let's just see what Ah, it's it's at the workbench, isn't it? So the workbench, I'm just thinking about the weapons. Um Is it on manual? I can make a wand with bones. Um, so bones and resin, I can make a staff and a wand. Let's have a look. So resin and bones. Right, let's see what let's just see if it's on here. Crafting. Yeah it is, it's just on here, isn't it? So uh staff wand. Make another lot pick. Got a summoning staff. Right, so now I made a oh. Made a rare one, a rare staff there. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, that can come off there. Then we'll put the wand. Like that. So what's the crack with that there? Seven power. Okay. Right, what I want to do now is work out how to make um Scrappy sword or whatever it is. One handed weapon, so scrappy sword. I need wood logs and I need nails. Ah, uh, hang on. Nails. Metals. Now get on. out. Let's make them nails there. Okay. So I need some wood logs. Scrappy sword. Press space. That'll do us. Anything else? So going to be now. That's a scrappy sword there. Um might as well get rid of that. Salvage that. Because that is better than that. This is something that is common to this game. You find yourself chasing your inventory space all the time. Uh, we'll cook it. Okay. So. So what's the next thing we've got to do? Well. 
click J and go to quests. Um, we have now got to think about trying to build our glider and also to clear the Alexa well. But before we do that, let's have a look at the skills. So I've got two points to spend. Now, let's have a little look. It all depends what type of thing we want to do. Do we want to be magic based? Um, uh, there's a couple of things I like to do. We'll go power the up on any of some stun there. Alright. I think I'm going to go down this route so I like jump attack and I like double jump. So I think I'm going to do this to start with. I need three to unlock that. That's okay. Is there something else I just can do just in the meantime that might be helpful early on? Uh, increased dexterity. strength, constitution, intelligence, mm. that might be quite handy, increased range damage by 5% per tribute point, we'll have that just for the bow, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so. We've got a few things now. Um, so look at that. No ammo, six. Yeah. So we've got us. Uh, we've got a wand. Right. So let me just have a quick look what we need for next time for the old glider. Do you have to talk to him for the glider? Or is it the? Uh, I think it's the workbench. So go to workbench glider. I reckon we can make that now. String, animal, fur, shroud, wooden, shroud, spores. I'm sure we've got all them. String. Um, shroud, spores. Um... No, animal fur, animal fur, and shroud wood. Where's animal skins gone? Have I used them all? Oh yeah, I used them all. You know when I made. Um, hmm. Yeah, when I made my armour. Yeah, animal fur. Alright, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just go and get some. That's two. Thought that were an animal, it's not. Oh, that is there. So 
It's another two. There's one there, look. Right, how many do we need? Glider. Right, I can make that. What about grappling hook? I need string and metal scraps. Let's get the old glider fitted. That's all right. String and metal scraps. Um, string. Might need to make some more. I don't know if I've got any metal scraps, I have to see. Metal scraps. Don't know how many I need. Because I don't look. It's a grappling hook. I need three more string. I definitely can make that. Uh, 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 uh. Right, okay. Crafting. String. One, two, three. Uh. Plant fiber. The thing is, whereas some of the games it crafts with whatever's in your vicinity and uh, creates and everything, in normal crates you have to have in in this crafting you have to have the items on you unless you make magical crates. Once you've got magical crates and put items in there, it, anywhere in your building area around the flame it automatically looks for the items in those crates you don't actually have to physically have them on them on you to craft with them so hang on. crafting so hmm. that's me stupid of course i am string i need one more string Grappling hook. Craft that. And grappling hook. Select. Okay. So now, you basically, for the glider, you run, press it, press it again, and you jump button and you glide. Right, okay. Let's get these things back in here. Nope, it means click that one. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there for this one. Uh, hang on, what's that saying? Let's have a look. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Okay. And that is what we will do eventually. Now, to upgrade it from 40, 40, 40, this is the old level, to 80, 80, 80, I need a shroud core, which I've not got at the moment. Um, strengthen the flame. We need these items to do that. I haven't got any of those. I've got some resin. I've got red mushrooms. got bones. got shroud liquid. We haven't got a spark. So, we need... It's a spark. We need to get from other areas. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to log off now. This has been episode two. Um, if you've if you've enjoyed it, if it's been useful, if you've liked it, whatever it is, please hit the like, please subscribe, uh, leave me any comments. I really like to read them, as you know. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. So uh, until the next time, adios.